grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Eric King K. Clark. Today's Megabyte comes to us from Exodus chapter 15, from the subject matter, the women of the Bible. Miriam is our focus person today. Miriam is called the prophetess of God. And after Moses leads Israel through the Red Sea, it is Miriam that grabs a tambourine and leads the women in worship unto the Lord. It was also Miriam that at one time stood against Moses and challenged Moses' leadership and authority. I have two observations from the life of Miriam. Number one, I think it's wonderful to be called alongside your brother, to be called alongside a man, to be a support ministry, to be a help. She was the prophetess she heard from God. But at some point in her life, she began to think more highly of herself than she ought. She began to usurp Moses' authority. And she got in trouble with God. Thank God for the gift of God that's in the life of many women today. But I exhort women to make sure that whatever capacity you serve in, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, the head of the woman is the man. The head of man is Christ. The head of Christ is God. Let's make sure we stay in order, never uh, usurping the authority of your husband or of uh, the spiritual leader that God has placed in your life, whether it's a man or woman. Make sure you stay in order. Even though you're gifted, even though you're anointed, make sure you stay in order. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.